Hey legends, what an absolutely wild and woolly weekend of footy. I think we had everything from torrential rain to nearly 30 degree heat. And what about the amount of injuries this week? Absolute carnage. To be honest, I don't actually know what's going on. And I don't know why in this particular season, at this particular time of the year, it's just so bad. There seems to be at least two or three players from every team that are just going out. And in some cases, going out really early. And of course, that's having a massive implication on fantasy results, super coach results, obviously the games themselves. You know, the Roosters losing a Tedesco, the Panthers already without Nathan Cleary, even the Titans, you know, without Big Tino. It's definitely making the game less predictable. But uh, look, kudos to those teams that can actually take advantage of it. And we've got one here on screen. Well done to the Canterbury Bulldogs. Absolutely smash the Roosters out of the park in that first half of footy. We're probably incredibly lucky to, uh, to hold on to that 30 to 26 win. But in the end, they got the job done. And at the end of the day, they run away with the two points. And that's all that really matters. So well done. And with all of that in mind, let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's check out how we went in round five before we kick on and uh, talk about round six. But first up, let's see how many we got right. As you can see up there on top, we were able to successfully pick five correct teams winning this week. I think there were definitely a couple of surprise packets that not very many people would have got right, that's for sure. Now, starting up on top, I did predict the Storm over the Broncos. What I didn't predict was just how close this game was actually going to be. And I didn't actually predict that the Broncos would have a chance of winning it. And uh, kudos to the Storm, they really pulled it back in about the last 15 to 20 minutes of that game. An incredible game to watch. It was definitely a spectacle, but I think both coaches would walk away from that game just lamenting the lack of defense from both teams. I think it was pretty atrocious to, uh, to have 66 points scored in a game. That's just crazy. And for me, as a Broncos fan, look, there's a lot to like about what they're putting out on the park. There's a little bit to be concerned about. You know, we've got Adam Reynolds out. We've got Big Payne Haas out. Pierre Kura is still out. I'm hearing today that Ezra Mam might actually be injured. Reese Walsh has been out for a little while, hopefully back next week. So it's just a mess all across the park. Now the Storm, they played extremely well and it was very interesting to see Pappenhausen actually have one of his quietest games of the year so far. So it's just really unpredictable at this particular point in time. Now moving on to the Bulldogs versus the Roosters and I definitely did not predict this in my wildest dreams. We had the Roosters, but in that first half, they just looked atrocious until they really got their stuff together in the second half. And then we're coming home with, I think, 11, maybe 12 men at some stages. They looked amazing, but in the end, they just didn't do enough to, uh, to get the win. Stupid errors, I think, really cost them the opportunity to do really well in this game. And they just didn't start the way they needed to start. So kudos to the Bulldogs. They took advantage of everything they needed to do. And they absolutely smashed it out of the park and run away with those two points. So well done, Doggies fans. Next up in probably the wettest game on the weekend, the Newcastle Knights up against the Dragons. And we successfully got this one right. It uh, just looked like they were all playing park footy in a, uh, a floodway. Absolutely incredible scenes, just slip and slide everywhere. But well done to the Knights. I think that really starts to get their season on track now, which is exactly what they need. And the Dragons, well, they're an interesting one. A bit hit and miss. They're up and down, but they definitely didn't play their best footy in this game. That's for sure. So let's keep moving on. We've got next up, we've got the Warriors and the Rabbits. And I was very confident in this one that the Wars were going to absolutely smash the Bunnies and they didn't disappoint. The Warriors were just on fire. They look the complete team this year. Their depth is really strong and they are just running on all cylinders. I think they are in for a great season. We predicted them to be in the top four. And right now things are just improving week on week on week for a team that was already really, really strong. So good to see the Warriors doing incredibly well. If I'm being honest with you, I think they're being a little bit neglected on the Daily M leaderboard. Sean Johnson absolutely deserves to be way up the top of that thing. So, you know, come on, Daily M people, start paying attention to the Waz. Now, the next game is another game I didn't predict. 
the Manly Sea Eagles up against the Penrith Panthers. Now, based on last week's game, the Sea Eagles just looked atrocious. You know, you had Tommy Turbo dropping the ball five times. So to see them come out this week and really bounce back strong, they were just incredible. And I think things just didn't really go the way of the Panthers in this game. They had a couple of dodgy calls that went against them. And ultimately, they just didn't get the momentum that they needed to really get back into the game. So well done to the Sea Eagles. I think they celebrated the uh, the fact that Daly Cherry Evans is now the most capped player for the Sea Eagles. So well done to Cherry Evans. And it was really great to see Turbo bounce back. He's in the fantasy team. So well done, Tommy Turbo. Let's keep moving. Next up, we had the Dolphins versus the Tigers. And I predicted a little bit of an upset here and got this one wrong. So definitely a little bit ambitious with this particular prediction. But well done to the Dolphins. I'm really looking forward to the Broncos-Dolphins clash coming up in round six. The Cowboys versus the Titans, 35 to 22. So well done to the Cowboys. The Titans actually did a lot better than I thought that they were going to. The Titans actually did a lot better than I thought they were going to. So kudos to the Titans. There's still a little bit of fight there. And I think, you know, if they can build on that, then you never know. Maybe they can snag one or two victories this season, but it's definitely going to be a long, hard road for them. And the Raiders absolutely smashing the Eels 41 to 8. Now, I did predict the Raiders to win, but not by a margin that huge. The, uh, the Raiders just looked absolutely on point and thoroughly deserve their win. Now, they've still got a whole bunch of players to uh, come back into that side. You know, there was no Hosking, and Corey Horsburgh went down really early with some abdominal injury. There was still no Elliot Whitehead. So, you know, the Raiders are in a really good spot, and they are my surprise packet for 2024, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to round six and our predictions for round six. Okay, so first up, we have the Knights in Newcastle up against the Roosters. And I think the Roosters without James Tedesco are really going to struggle. So we're going to pick the Newcastle Knights. Next up, we have the Storm in Melbourne up against the Doggies. And I think the Storm will get this one done comfortably. But the Doggies, they're building. Some of their combinations are starting to click. And even though I think they're going to go down to the Storm, I think the momentum is definitely with the Bulldogs right now. Next up. We have the Broncos versus the Dolphins. I'm really looking forward to this one here in Brisbane. Now, I have to say those odds don't flatter the Dolphins, and they probably deserve more than that. But if they're going to be without Herbie Farnworth, maybe a Flegler, and, you know, they've got a couple of other players in doubt as well, then, yeah, probably deserves to be that way. But the Broncos aren't without some superstars themselves. But I think the uh, depth of the Broncos is what will get them across the line at a Broncos skewed Suncorp Stadium. So we're going to go with the Broncos for that one. The Warriors in New Zealand versus the Manly Sea Eagles. So both teams coming off a win here. The Sea Eagles are capable of an upset, but I just don't think they're going to get it done. For me, the Warriors are on a roll and looking amazing. So we're going to go with the Warriors. Next up, we've got the Cows versus the Eels in Parramatta. And I think this could be close. I wouldn't be surprised if the Eels bounce back at home. But for me, I am going to go with the Cows and we keep on rolling. Now the Sharkies and the Rabbits. I think the Sharkies coming off the bye, they'll be relaxed. They'll be rested. They'll be ready to go. And the Bunnies, unfortunately, they are already looking tired in 2024. So I think we absolutely have to go with the Sharkies. Oh, this one's an interesting one. The Tigers versus the Dragons. It's pretty evenly matched. Now, the Tigers didn't look amazing on the weekend and neither did the Dragons, but I think the Dragons are a more stable team this week. We've still got no Lockie Galvin. There's reports around that some of the key Tigers players may be missing. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to go for the Dragons and it's going to be a close one. So I reckon I'll just go a margin of 12. Next up, I think this is probably the easiest game of the weekend to predict. The Titans in Canberra taking on the Canberra Raiders. I think this one is as much of a shoe-in as you can possibly get. I think the, uh, the poor Titans are going to be struggling to get on the board this weekend. I think the Raiders are going to absolutely run riot. So we're going to go with the Raiders. All right, so let's just go through it again quickly. Okay, so first up, we've got the Knights, the Storm, the Broncos, the Warriors, the Cows, the Sharks, the Dragons, and the Raiders. So there you go. That's my tips for this week. Now, good luck with your tipping. Good luck with your fantasy. Good luck with your super coach. I certainly hope you're going a lot better than me. 
I should have my update results video coming through very shortly as well. I think I did all right in both Supercoach and Fantasy, but with some of the injuries to some of the other players, I would have hoped that I would have done a lot better and moved up the rankings, but I really just but I really just seem to be treading water this week, which is something we have to look at. We've got some big guns starting to come back into our team, which is exciting, not too long until we get Nathan Cleary back. So, you know, there's some exciting stuff ahead for the teams. And hopefully your teams are going really well as well. Anyway, guys, look, if you've liked the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, get involved in the conversation via the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.